Tim, welcome back to the channel everybody. Oh my goodness, 2024. So, I've, just, I've already recorded this vlog once already and I've uh, got home, checked the, uh, the, the ed in the editing bay, checked the video and uh, bloody footage clipping again on the dual carriageway. Absolutely, and that was with my decent purple panda mic. Oh my goodness, which uh, brings me on to the first subject. We've got a few subjects to talk about. Uh, first one's going to be uh, Insta 360s and GoPro. Second one's going to be uh, blah, 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 Rider Aids. There we go. Uh, are they any bloody good? Does it affect your insurance? And the first one, though, is going to be about trolls. So, yes. Oh my goodness, I'm not even into 2024 and already the boring bobs have struck. Oh my god, these people I tell you, they are so boring. Now, now, the, now I operate a bit like the royal family, so if anybody makes shit comments on my channel, um, what I'll do is I'll just uh, delete them and then I obviously block them because uh, my ch channel's about having fun and I don't want to have to listen to you boring bobs making your stupid comments if you don't like it right why are you watching it for this in starters why are you taking time out of your own time to watch something that you you don't like don't like it don't watch it second one is uh and a guy was commenting on the fact first off he called me young man it's just like if you know me you know i'm not a young man if you watch the channel i ain't a young man this bloke must be in he must be 100 years old if he's calling me a young man <laughs> anyway and then he's commenting in on his going, uh, oh, someone's just wearing trainers and jeans. I think it was the video that I was testing the Royal Enfield Classic 350. And he's going on about, oh, wearing trainers and jeans, should you be listening to this? Hey, look at that seagull. Oh my goodness. Anyway, yeah, so he's going, should you be listening to someone who's wearing trainers and jeans? And he commented on it a couple of times. So I obviously blocked him. It's just like, right. I need to put a disclaimer up, right? Motorcycles are inherently dangerous, okay? Yes, you should wear protective. Minimum you should wear is gloves and a helmet. After that, it's up to you what you want to wear on a bike, right? Up to about three years ago, for a job, I used to jump out of aeroplanes, right? Wearing a 50 uh, kilogram, well, 50 kilogram, 50 pound container, right? And a rifle. All I used to wear was a helmet and then the clothes that you had on right so don't talk to me about bleeding safety and then two years ago if you watch the channel you'll know that i was in a very serious road accident i was in a uh, head-on collision with another car who was driving on the wrong side of the road okay and i broke both my arms i've still got a stoma i'm pretty messed up oh, uh, broke seven ribs the spleen punctured lung absolute in turbo clip what's this person doing where are you going fucking hell have a word so yeah you'll know that i was in pretty bad shape and nearly died and that was in a car so you can wear as much protection as you want but if you cut if your numbers up your numbers up all right you can you can have all your gear on go under a lorry squished that's you dead so uh yeah so watch all you boring bobs don't like the channel don't comment on it because i'll just delete it and block you and uh yeah just bugger off <laughs> oh, a bunch of bell ends so second one was i was watching um uh lab truck rides he's just uh, test ride the new tracer and this one it was the top of the range one and it was good to see for a change actually come with the bleeding luggage it's a touring bike and it actually comes with the luggage which was good but um Yes, it uh, comes with all of these rider aids. Obviously, it had brake assist, traction control, wheelie assist, uh, control even, uh, and it had that radar. So, uh, if you're following another vehicle and uh, it it deems while you're braking that you're not gonna you're gonna make it and you need to put more add more brakes, it will uh, brake for you. Which uh, to start off with, I thought was a bit sketchy, but then thinking about it i was like well yeah actually that ain't that's not too bad actually that's quite a good system but uh be interesting to see how it works anyways well it's quite funny because lamb chops was um driving up the backside of this car and i was thinking jesus because he was testing it out 
And I don't think it really worked really because the thing came up on the TFT display. So I was thinking, so obviously all of these these wider aids are designed to help you be safer on the bike, they yes and all the rest of it. I mean this bike has, has got no wider aids, it hasn't even got ABS I don't think. So you know what I mean? So it's all down to skill of riding, isn't it? So skill. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so does that make, does that mean right that you should pay less insurance on your bike insurance? Because if you've got all of these safety uh, uh, des uh, des designs, all these safety applications on your bike, then surely you, it's going to make you a safer rider. The bike's going to be safer to ride in, in bad conditions, so you're, you're less likely to have a crash. So surely you should. Uh, it should be. I don't know who Shirley is. It should be cheaper to insure. However, I doubt that is. It was funny though because um, obviously, hey, check him out. Very nice. He was playing around with because uh, obviously the controls are on the on the um, handlebars, and he was playing around with the settings. I was thinking, well, if you're doing all of that, you're not paying attention to the road. It's bad enough for the best of times. I mean, look at me. I, I was watching a bleeding seagull. So uh, yeah, that, that cracked me up. That did. So uh, yeah, what was what was the third one I was talking about? So that was uh, obviously trolls, rider aids. Ah, GoPro. Like I said. This is the oh, this is the, the second time now I've filmed this. This this now, I know it's an average speed check zone. Um, I've put my, well, I won't say crappy mic on, my cheap, but I've put my I put a crappy Lavalia mic on. So hopefully, um, oh, look at the size of them holes. Jesus, then that's dangerous, isn't it? Look at that. It's even not my camera. Jesus Christ. Um, yeah, what was I saying? Yeah, 360. Um, yeah, so I've put that on. Um, so I've, I've been looking at the... I saw, I was looking on Amazon. Well, actually, no, tell a lie. I was on YouTube, and a guy was doing the Insta360 Pro Ace, which looks like the GoPro 9. I was like, bloody hell, that looks all right. That, that don't look too bad, actually. The Pro Ace films up to 8K. Now, if you do motor vlogging and that, you don't need 8K, you don't even need 4K. 1060, 60p is good enough for YouTube. Anything else at above is just more, more in your editing bay and, and all the rest of it. So you don't really need that. Um, so yeah, so I looked into it and so you can prick up this, uh, the 360 Ace and it's not the Pro. So it only goes up to 4K, which is, ba which is in line with my Hero 9 or Hero 10. So I thought, yeah, okay, well, let's, look at, let's have a look, see what the accessories are like, because the only thing with the Instas is, is it's running a mic in. If you're a motor vlogger, you need to have something that you can plug a mic in, and then, you know, unless you have a separate audio recorder, like they do in the films, and then you record your audio and then add that into the film footage. So uh, I looked it up, and you can pick up the audio adapter for the Insta360 Ace, it's £17 on Amazon. It's an absolute, that's an absolute steal. For the GoPro, which I've got on here, I've got the that, that adapter, that is you're looking at £60 to buy that. And then if you buy the adapter cage, that is again it's about 60 quid. And it's absolutely bonkers. Plus you have to have the adapter to go to yeah uh, for the actual Lavalier mic. Um, that's a whole different story. So yeah, I may, I don't know, because I've got two GoPros at the minute, I'm all in on GoPro, but the amount of issues I've had this year so far, I haven't even got into the, the year and my audio, but I mean, audio could be completely separate. Um, I worked it out, if you saw the last video, was um, I had to go use the, the phone app, and it was the mic was set to Mic Plus, uh, and you can get mic uh, powered, but this is, uh, this is just a standard mic, so I'll put standard, oh, Jesus, standard mic on that so and hopefully this should be recording okay i mean i do shout when i'm riding i'm supposed to speak pretty fast so yes um i may in the future i might save me pennies up and i might invest in a 360 just to see i thought it was 360 as in 360 all round but it's not it's, it looks like a gopro so uh i might just invest in the pro it's basically a, a hero 9 with a 17 pound adapter at the minute these are all great i'd have to swap one of these out maybe and get some money for one of these and then um yeah buy one of those so yeah yeah let me know down in the comments box below i mean i've heard 
there's loads of YouTubers uh, that have been plugging the Instas, uh, like the proper Insta 360 and stuff. And at the end of the day, all that means is it's just unless you use it correctly, like I've seen uh, the military biker do, they're a bit gimmicky. They're a bit like the um, like having uh, your drone. I've got two drones, so yeah. Um, the GoPros at the end of the day for motor vlogging are probably still the best, but but it's just having to pay for all the mic adapters and that. It's just an absolute nightmare. Plus, you have the issues with the GoPros crash and stuff. I mean, luckily, fingers crossed, I've not had that. But my GoPros have always been pretty good, but I've heard absolute horror stories with people. There's another bike coming down here as well. So yes, so um, yeah, let me know what you think anyway about the uh, rider race. Do you think uh, does it make it make you safer rider? Does it add uh, what do you call it? Make your insurance any cheaper? I don't know. And uh, also trolls. Yeah, those bellends. <laughs> I've got no time for them. So, with that being said, I'm going to end this video here because we're coming up to the traffic lights. So, if you like the videos, give us a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed, smash that red subscribe button. And if you are a subscriber, hit the notification bell. That way, every time this idiot uploads a video, you will get notified. And that, my friends, is Jim Diesel out. What is Mr. Ah, Maserati up to? Come on, mate. Get a move on. Does that say B. Diami? Dear, oh dear. Oh, don't start saying dear, oh dear. Fuck off with the dear, oh dears, mate.